Ever had a near-death experience? Uh, the kind that leaves you grateful yet terrified, knowing that you were just a step away from meeting the Grim Reaper. These experiences often provoke a strange blend of relief and fear, don't they? The relief of escaping death by a whisker and the dread of how close you were to your demise. Now here's a thought to chew on. What if I told you that in another reality you didn't escape death? Welcome to the concept of parallel worlds and quantum immortality, a theory even Stephen Hawking supported. In the world of quantum mechanics, particles are not just particles, they are probability waves. A common explanation, known as the Copenhagen interpretation, suggests that these waves become the particles we observe when the probability wave collapses in the act of observation. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean a human needs to be watching. Any measurement can cause this collapse. But here's a twist. Some physicists propose an alternative explanation, parallel worlds. According to this theory, there's no such thing as wave function collapse. Instead, everything in the universe is and remains a wave function. The particle state we observe is only collapsed in our current reality, but not in other parallel realities. Each time we make a measurement or observation, reality splits into countless parallel worlds. But what if the wave function never collapses? Enter the many worlds interpretation where reality branches off into countless parallel worlds. This interpretation, proposed by many physicists, assumes that the entire universe remains as a wave function, with no wave function collapse. Unlike the Copenhagen interpretation, which suggests that the probability wave collapses into a particle state upon observation, the many worlds interpretation negates this concept entirely. Here, the wave function does not collapse, but the particle state we observe is merely a collapse within our current reality, not in the other parallel worlds. This means that every time a measurement or observation occurs, our reality splits off, creating a seemingly infinite number of parallel universes. This is why it's called the many worlds interpretation. Each observation leads to the creation of a new parallel universe where the wave function does not collapse. It's a mind-bending concept, but one that has found acceptance within the physics community. In each branch of this multiverse, all possibilities are real, and different outcomes occur in different parallel universes. So if this theory holds, what does it mean for you and your loved ones? Well, it suggests that the seemingly random events of our lives are just the branches we've taken in this vast cosmic tree. Every decision, every chance encounter, every brush with death could have played out differently in another reality. So each of us is living a multitude of lives across countless parallel worlds. In a parallel universe where you took a different path in life, this question leads us to a fascinating concept, the many worlds theory. This theory, at its core, provides an intuitive explanation for some of the strange phenomena in quantum physics. The many worlds theory suggests that there exist infinite parallel worlds, each representing a different possible outcome of every decision we make. Imagine standing at a crossroads. You decide to take the left path. According to the many worlds theory, at that very moment, another version of you takes the right path in a different universe. Now let's dive a little deeper. The randomness we experience in our everyday lives, the unexpected turns of events, the many worlds explanation attributes them to the interweaving of these parallel worlds. Each decision we make, each path we take, creates a ripple effect across countless universes, resulting in an infinite number of possible outcomes. But here's the catch. We can only perceive the existence of one of these realities. It's like being in a vast library filled with countless books, but you can only read one at a time. Each book represents a different universe, a different version of your story. Although this theory hasn't been experimentally confirmed, it provides us with an intriguing framework for thinking about the nature of reality and our place in the universe. It's a mind-bending concept that challenges our understanding of the world around us. And here's another twist. Some propose that this theory implies that no matter when you die in this universe, there's another version of you continuing to live in a different universe. This concept is known as quantum immortality, a concept we'll delve into in the next scene. So, in some far-off universe, you might be an astronaut or a rock star, 
or anything else you could imagine. This is the potential beauty and mystery of the many worlds theory. It opens up a world of infinite possibilities where anything and everything is possible. Now, what if we told you that according to a theory, you might never experience your own death? Let's delve into the concept of quantum immortality. This idea is rooted in the many worlds theory, which proposes that all possible outcomes occur in some universe. So, no matter how astronomically improbable it may seem, there always exists a universe where you manage to dodge the Grim Reaper's icy grip. Therefore, from your own perspective, you could appear to live forever. Sounds like a science fiction plot, doesn't it? But it's a concept that some physicists take quite seriously. Let's illustrate this concept with a real-life example. Picture Arnold Schwarzenegger, the famous actor and former professional bodybuilder. Early in his career, he had a near-death experience during a training session. He was lifting a massive barbell when the supporting armor suddenly collapsed, sending the barbell crashing towards him. Miraculously, he escaped. Now, according to the, according to the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, this event could be viewed as a branching point in the wave function. In some parallel worlds, Schwarzenegger might have succumbed to the accident, but in other branches, he was fortunate enough to dodge the barbell. This is quantum immortality in action. In this scenario, Schwarzenegger's consciousness continues in the parallel universe where he survives the accident. If he recalls the incident, it's because his consciousness branched off into the reality where he lived. This doesn't mean Schwarzenegger is immortal in all realities. In some, he is no longer with us. But from his own perspective, he continues to exist because his consciousness is tied to the version of him that survived. So the next time you have a brush with death, remember this concept. You might just be experiencing your own personal branching point. According to quantum immortality, every time you narrowly avoid death, you've simply branched off into a universe where you survived. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's recap what we've learned today. The many worlds theory, although not yet confirmed by experiment, offers a unique lens to view the strange phenomena of quantum physics. It suggests that the randomness we observe in the quantum realm is a result of the interplay between parallel worlds. We, however, are privy to the existence of only one of these worlds. Quantum immortality, a fascinating spin-off of this theory, posits that no matter when you die, another version of you continues to exist in a parallel universe. This is because certain quantum events, however improbable, could save you from death. But remember, this doesn't validate the belief in an immortal soul. In this theory, consciousness remains tied to your body. So the next time you make a choice, remember, there's a universe out there where you took the other option. And who knows, in some universe, you might never die.